Happy shop. Hi Aquarius, this is Petra at IndigoTarot.club and I'm here to do a Celtic Cross reading for you for the month of August 2017. Today is August the 12th, so this is going to go for the next 30 days approximately for you. So I've already shuffled and cut the cards and these are the cards that I've pulled for you. For the card representing you, I have the Two of Cups. For the energy crossing you, I have the chariot. For the basis of the situation, I have the moon. For what's happened in the immediate past, I have the knight of staffs. For what's crowning your thoughts, I have the page of staffs. What's coming in the immediate future, I have the two of swords. How you see yourself, I have the six of staffs. How others see you or your surrounding environment, I have the page of cups. What you really, really wish for, I have the Ten of Coins. For outcome, I have the Four of Swords. And for additional outcome, I have King of Swords and Eight of Swords. So let's get started. So with the Two of Cups, it feels like you're happy and in love with someone. And it feels like with the Chariot that some of you are going away on some kind of trip with your loved one. For others of you, it feels like maybe you're going through some kind of turmoil. I know that sounds like a scary word, but that's that's the only word that comes to mind right now. It feels like you're coming to some kind of turmoil over a decision that you have to make with your partner. With the moon, I think this card is here to say that with the solar eclipse that's coming on the 21st of August, there may be some very interesting things happening around that time. The word I'm hearing is predicament or predicaments. For what's happened in the immediate past, I have the Knight of Staffs. And looking at the Knight of Staffs and then the Two of Swords in your immediate future, it feels like some of you have recently left someone, broken up with someone, or moved away from someone and you're already um, moving forward with somebody else so there was like no pause in between where you were actually alone um, you already had someone in mind that you're already in love with and so with the knight of staffs this feels like the person that you left and when I look at this card, it feels like this person is not going to make it very easy for you to stay away from him or her. It feels like they might give you a hard time. And then with your crowning thoughts for a page of staffs, you look very happy, like you've conquered um, your demons. And this could apply to you being happy because you finally left that situation. It may have been an abusive situation. But I'm also seeing this card as there's something that you've overcome recently. Maybe some kind of addiction problem. Maybe you've, you've defeated it. Or maybe you've temporarily defeated it. And that's kind of what I'm feeling with the energy of this card. So that's your crowning thoughts. Like you've, you've defeated something. Now again, with the Two of Swords coming in the immediate future, it feels like for some of you, it feels like you feel a little, a little remorseful um, dumping that person. For others of you, this ties in with the chariot where you and your loved one are going to have to make some kind of decision on something. And again, that word predicaments is coming up. And the date, August 21st, is coming up again. Now, for how you see yourself, I have the Six of Staffs. This reminds me of the Page of Staffs where you look like you're victorious or you feel like you're going to be victorious. You're going to be on top. And um, that's a good card for you. I just can't tell what this victory card is about because the other one felt like you had um, conquered your demons or... You were happy because you left your ex. But this one, this one feels like you feel wonderful and successful about something else. Or maybe this is a, a feeling that you're going to feel later this month. How others see you or 
your environment. I have the Page of Cups. And as I'm looking at this card, it feels more like it's a person. Um, it feels more like it's a male. And it feels like this person is treating you like a queen or being um, very, very affectionate with you and also very receptive. And I feel like this person is not afraid to communicate. They're not afraid to call you as often as they want to. They're not afraid to text you as often as they want to. It kind of feels like whoever this is that you're dating or that you're seeing or maybe that you're living with already, it feels like this person is not afraid to be very open with their emotions. Now with the Ten of Coins in the ninth position, this is what you really, really want. It looks like you want to have a very happy home and have everything that you need. And when I look at the face on the woman, she looks like she's tired of um, what she went through before. She doesn't want to go through that anymore. And um, she just wants peace. That's what I feel the most from this card. You just want peace. And I feel like I'm talking more to a woman right now than a male. You just want peace. You just want to be happy in your home with your loved one. If you have children or pets, you just want to have a stable, happy home life. You do not want whoever that was back there that you left. You do not want them coming around. You don't want them to text you, call you, email you, or anything. Not even message you on social media. You just want peace. That's what I'm feeling the most from this card. So for your outcome... I have the Four of Swords, and the first thing I'm feeling from this card is that this feels more like, again, going on a trip with your loved one. The second thing I'm feeling is you all are together in the same house, and you're rearranging things and getting things organized and set up just the way you want, and so you're in that stage right now where you just moved into this house or into this apartment, and you're getting everything the way that you want it. The additional cards I pulled... I have the King of Swords and I have the Eight of Swords. With the Eight of Swords, I'm feeling again this Two of Swords feeling where you might feel some remorse over uh, dumping that person, okay, in your in your past, in your immediate past. And then with the King of Swords, this again reminds me of you wanting peace. You just want everything to be stable. You don't want any drama. That's what I just heard. And so it feels like that's what's going to happen, um, the outcome. You're going to have a happier home life. There's going to be more stability and security in your home. You're going to have more peace. And it feels like this is telling you, like the Eight of Swords is telling you, do not think about that person. Do not spend any time or energy on that person. Do not feel guilty about leaving that person okay and I think if you can um, divert that energy away from that person and put it more towards your family and yourself and uh, making yourself and your children and your spouse or partner happy in the home and around the home you're going to be sitting like this king of swords here happy and looking like yes now I have peace now I have peace in my home so I hope you enjoyed that reading, Aquarius. I look forward to seeing you in September. And if you would like to enter for a chance to win a free reading, a free full psychic tarot reading with me, all you need to do is go to indigotarot.club and click the Enter Here tab for more information. I will be selecting several winners um, this month in August. I'll be selecting several winners and uh, using random.org. And I'll contact them via the email address that they entered. Uh, I'll contact the winners that way. Okay, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. I apologize for posting this late. I just moved. And um, it's caused some delays for me getting my videos out. This is Petra at IndigoTarot.club.